be sure to smash that like button. Hitting that thumbs up really helps this channel. Because I'm more dedicated to education and not entertainment, the YouTube algorithm really doesn't help me much. So be sure to hit that like button. It helps me more than you realize. So I made it here to the job site, and this is what the pump house looks like. If you can see, they have a brick foundation around it, and they built this massive building for this small of a setup. So that's what the building looks like. <clears throat> so there's three options uh, to, to do here. Option A would be to remove that building, tear down the foundation that it's around, set the drilling rig up on top of it, and drill out the stuck pipe and wire and pump and drill out the collapse and then sleeve the well with four inch slotted sleeve that way if it ever did collapse in the future it would collapse against the sleeve and not trap the pump option b would be to drill a new well right out here behind it now they're both kind of tit for tat uh the cost of removing that building and tearing down the foundation and then having to rebuild it kind of goes into the factor of drilling the the cost of drilling a new well so <clears throat> long-term fix here i think drilling a new well and then sleeving the new well would be the same cost as trying to repair that one so option c would be is what we're going to do today we're going to try and put a, a little winch on the pipe and see if we can get it to bust loose which i highly doubt it uh, I'm going to winch it up, and I'm going to cut it off, and then I'm going to send a pump down right beside it and set the next pump at about 120 feet. That is the cheapest option, and that's the option we're going to go with for today and see if the well makes enough water for them to work and for them to, uh, to be able to use it. Uh, at 120 feet. I feel like going any deeper than 120 feet, I don't want the well to continue to collapse and then trap the next pump. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do today. What I'm trying to do right now is if I can move the pipe and the pump up and down, I'm going to see if I can actually get that collapse zone to break free and fall to the bottom. I highly doubt it, but it was worth a shot. Well, that ain't working. Shot. I don't think this is going to get it up any higher than the other one. Okay. If it's collapsed all the way to the pump to where I could visibly see it, it's, it's got a hundred foot of collapse on it. So I was just hoping that where I saw it at 195 foot with the camera, I was hoping that, uh, it was just, you know, five feet of collapse and it kind of blocked itself there. And moving it around enough, you might be able to get the rocks to shift and fall. But that's just not the case. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stick the sawzall down in here. I'm going to cut the pipe down below the casing a little bit. And uh, I'm going to stick a pump right back down there beside it. What I'm doing now, I've removed the wire from coming out of the well seal. I'm going to go ahead and take some rope. And I made a loop in the wire. I'm going to tie a knot and tie some rope to it. Because I know that the pump is at 300 foot and the well is 350 foot deep, when I cut the pipe below the well seal, the pump might actually fall. Now, if the pump falls, all of the collapse is going to go with it. And I'm going to go ahead and attach 50 feet of rope to it. That way I can still retrieve it one day if the building is ever removed and I have the ability to hook a crane to it. So, and if, let's just say I cut it and it falls 20 feet 
and I can grab a hold to the rope and pull it out and all the, uh, the collapse has fallen past the pump, then I'll be able to grab the rope and pull it out. So we're just trying things here. Gives it an anchor point just, just to be safe. Time for some sawzall action. didn't fall or all that would be sucked in the well. <sighs> Worth a try anyway. <sighs> well, it was worth a shot. We're going to go ahead and stick a pump beside it. No, no, I got it. Just don't get it. Well, that went in a lot better than expected. Now you have a pump at uh, 120 foot, and the old pump stuck at 300 feet. We're going to go ahead and chlorinate the well, and hook the bladder tank up, and turn it on, and everything will be running. Okay, so the system is completely updated, and I just wanted to quick give you a quick overview of how I did everything. So, brought the pipe up, transitioned over to PVC, ran the wire nice and neatly, taping it to the pipe, brought it down into the into the tank cross, into the pressure switch, and then out of the pressure switch on this side with the wire that comes from the house. And I went ahead and installed a one inch valve here to where we can actually shut the water off going to the house. The old setup did not have a shut off valve. And then it goes down into the ground. So the well makes two gallons a minute and the pump is at 120 foot. I felt like any deeper than that, uh, we were risking getting that pump trapped too. So we're going to go ahead and have the homeowner turn the power on and run the water for a little bit. And uh, I think uh, that's about it for this video. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Uh, if you haven't, be sure to hit that like button. Go ahead, subscribe, turn on your notifications. And uh, see you next time. Have a good one. All right.